Hey, welcome to the show. Today in the show, we are working on number patterns. We have four number pattern problems. If you would like to do any of these on your own, all you have to do is hit the pause button, and then when you're ready to check it with me, hit that play button. All right, let's go ahead and begin. So with these number patterns, we have some rules. This one says we have to add three each time. So let's take a look at this. We have three, so three plus three would equal six. Then six plus three would equal nine. Can you figure out what the next one's gonna be? Nine plus three equals, that's right, 12. So I'm gonna go ahead and put 12 right here. And now I'm gonna add the rule again. So I'm gonna add three to this number. 12 plus three equals 15. So go ahead and put 15 right here. And you know, mathematics is all about patterns, it is. So we're kind of getting a little practice right here. Let's go ahead and do 15 plus three. So 15 plus three would be 15, 16, 17, 18. So we have 18 right here. How'd you guys do? If you did really good, hit that likey button down below. All right, let's go ahead and do the next problem here. We have 50, 45, and 40, and we must subtract five each time. So you can see that they had 50 right here and they subtracted five and then they got 45. Then 45 subtracted five again and you got 40. So can you figure out what this is gonna be? It's gonna be 40 minus five. Yeah, you're right, 35. So let's go ahead and put 35 right here. And then let's go ahead and subtract five from 35. 30, yeah. So put 30 right here. And then now go ahead, subtract five from 30, and you got 25. Boy, you guys are math ninjas. And if you did a good job on that one, hit that likey button down below, that helps me out. All right, let's go ahead and do our next problem here. We have, we're gonna take these numbers, two, three, and five, a little tricky this time, it's a little more complicated. We're gonna multiply by two and then subtract by one. So you can see that they took two times two equals four and then subtract one, which will be three. And then three times two would be six and then minus one would be five. So let's take five times two, which would be 10, then subtract one that gives you nine. All right, so let's go ahead and put nine right here. And then we're gonna take nine now and we're gonna multiply it by two, which would be 18. And then 18 minus one equals 17. All right, so let's go ahead and put 17 right here. This is a little trickier now. Uh, you might be able to do this in your mind and that's awesome. So we need to take 17 times two. Can you try to do it in your mind? If you can't do it in your, in your thinker up there, you can always do a little figuring off to the side right here and you can go 17 times two. So seven times two equals 14. So I'm gonna carry the one up here and then two times one equals two plus the one equals three. And that's okay if you didn't get it. You know, this, is a, this is a challenge problem right here. Now we need to subtract one, which would be 33. So let's go ahead and put 33 right here. Yeah, I always like to throw a little challenge problem out. We have one more problem to do here. All right, so this one says double each time. So basically it's, it's that number plus the same number. So you have four plus four equals eight. Eight plus eight equals 16. 16 plus 16 equals 32. And if you, if you can't do this in your thinker, you know, you could always take the same number and just add it to the other, another number just like that. So you could take 16 plus 16, then six plus six equals 12, carry the one. So then you got one, two, three. All right. So can you double this number here? 32 plus 32. Try to do it in your mind. You get 32 up here plus another 32. Can you do that? Boom, what'd you get? Did you get 64? Yeah, here we go, 64. 
You guys are math ninjas. Yeah, let me give me a high five. I don't know if you can give me a high five, but hey, thanks so much. Um, if you did really good job, hit that likey button down below. Also, I'd love it if you can hit that subscribe button. It sure helps me out. I'm always reading the comments, taking requests, and uh, I hope you get outside and enjoy the day. You know, it's gonna be, uh, I think it's gonna be a nice day for a walk today. I'm gonna go for a walk. Hey, have a great uh, time doing whatever you're gonna do. Talk to you later. Adios, goodbye.